So this is a hadith that you're going to be hearing, especially as we get to the end of Ramadan, and you're encouraged now to make sure that you continue the deeds that you learned in Ramadan. And the reality is that all of us always experience a drop off after Ramadan, right? This hadith is when the Prophet ﷺ was asked, Ayyul A'mari Ahab, which of the actions are most beloved to Allah? And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Adwanuha wa inqal, the consistent ones, even if they are small. The most beloved of deeds to Allah are the consistent good deeds, even if they are small. And as Aisha radiallahu anha said in Adam Muhammad and Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the family of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, athbatu, when they did a good deed, they maintained that good deed. And so a person might feel, well, how am I going to continue Taraweeh after Ramadan? Well, Taraweeh is just Qiyamul Layl. But there's no way that you're going to be able to pray the same amount of Qiyam after Ramadan. There's no way you're going to be able to fast every day after Ramadan, right? There's no way you're going to be able to maintain the same level of charity or dhikr or remembrance. But maintaining consistency is a sign of your love for Allah and is a sign that you are loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, how does it speak to the love of Allah in particular? The scholars mention it in this way. They say that if a person is able to maintain the consistency of a good deed, that's actually a testimony to its being sincere for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because if you waver with your good deeds, then that's probably a sign that there are external circumstances that drive the performance of those good deeds or the lack of performance of those good deeds which means that those good deeds rest upon something other than the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or at least are highly motivated by things external to the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if a person is able to be consistent with a good deed, even if it's small, that's a sign that they are also consistent with their love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they're maintaining the steady presence of Allah's love and of concern for Allah's love in their lives, no matter what's happening in their lives, no matter what their emotional state is, no matter what's taking place. And so especially as we come to the last 10 nights where we're supposed to push ourselves to the greatest level of worship, and then suddenly you hit this wall of Eid where you stop doing everything altogether, think about the things from now that you're going to be able to continue outside of Ramadan and let them be small, reasonable goals. Don't be guilted into thinking that if I do something small after Ramadan, that's a sign that I lost my Ramadan. No, take small things, inshallah, that you can continue so that you can continue the mention of those things. And so that when the seasons come again of those good deeds being increased and amplified, that you're able to kick it into the next gear without it being a foreign concept. Like you pray Qiyam throughout the year, but then Taraweeh comes, and you've amplified that qiyam and you've taken it to the next level. So again, the Prophet ﷺ said, do the deeds that you are able to continue with, take things that do not exhaust you. Allah does not tire of your worship until you tire of worshiping Allah. The most beloved of deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the small ones, even if they are consistent. May Allah allow us to take some of these good deeds that we're performing in this month and maintain them after this month as well throughout the year. And until we meet him subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi